Hi everyone, it's Emily from Active Step Foot and Ankle Clinic down in Whiteley and today I'm in Laverstock Park in Hampshire at Runfest Run and I am demonstrating shockwave therapy. Now I know loads of you um, have had shockwave therapy with us at Active Step. Um, we're going to be seeing lots of runners today that are suffering with tendinopathies and muscular injuries and I'm going to be zapping them uh, from dusk till dawn. If you're starting out as a physio or podiatrist and you're, you, you know, you've just graduated, the most important thing that you need to be doing is taking a thorough history. Most of the things that you can learn about a patient are from the history, not necessarily the physical examination. I would say 90% of the patients that I assess, I already know roughly what the most likely diagnosis is because I've taken a thorough history. So lots of questions, and then when you think you've asked um, enough questions, ask some more. If you're a really experienced practitioner, I think you have to be very mindful of differential diagnosis. Um, sometimes um, what you think is um, the obvious or the most common thing, just look for those red flags for, the, you know, for, for what, what else it might be and just make sure that you rule out those differential diagnoses just to make sure you're getting the right treatment. It's a massive shout out today to all the people I'm collaborating with. So we've got EMS with Stoller Class, they've got all their guys over from Switzerland, Germany, France. Um, we've also got Chris from CT Medical Sales. I've worked with Chris for many years uh, and we've been promoting Shockwave together for quite a while now. Um, and Algios. So Algios are a massive supplier to the podiatry market and physio market. It's going to be a great day today, uh, we've got sunshine, a few clouds but I'm optimistic, um, loads of runners pitching up and lots of trade stands, uh, it's going to be a great weekend.